Okay. Oh, seven o'clock. Time to call this meeting to order. Please call the roll. Mr. Clement. Here. Mr. Taylor. Here. Ms. Tingle. Mr. Duffy. Here. Mr. Schroeder. Here. Mr. Sherman. Here. Mr. Drew. Here. Here. Okay. Uh, we're here to discuss the electric contract. Anybody want to start off? Can you kind of give us a rundown of where this started? You kind of sent the email and got everything started here. So get the facts and then we can get it from there. Yeah, so Integrity Energy reached out to me a while back in the last couple of weeks and mentioned that we were at risk of violating their contract or being subject to some kind of termination fees um, because they got notification that we were switching away from their provider, from them as a provider to someone else who they didn't name. Um, upon further looking into it, we were currently being, we were currently under contract with Three Point Energy. There was a contract signed and in place to switch to AP Energy for this year. It was a 36 month contract. And then a second contract was signed for the same period through, through Three Point Energy. So from what I've gotten here, uh, and Mr. Sapatin forwarded me the uh, contract as well as everybody else. Uh, the original contract was signed by Scott Frank in February of 21. And then uh, Mr. Roll signed a contract in May of this year. Uh, and from the email chain I've gotten, looks like all that information was shared. Am I correct in that? Yes. Everybody, was, everybody was in the loop. Yeah. As far as that goes. Uh, so therefore we have conflict of two contracts at the same time, uh, which the second contract, one that was signed by Mr. Rowan May, for 24% higher uh, than the contract signed by Mr. Frank, uh, which would cost the city about $93,000 over the life of the contract if we were to go with them. But at the same time, we're under contract with the AEP. It cost us $14,000 to uh, cancel with Three point correct, yes. which we've talked about that email as well. Uh, so for me, that brings up a lot of questions yeah, how this came about. So, so people would else feel the same way? It was discussed uh, in the emails too about actually going if it actually went through committee. <clears throat> it was suggested that it was, but I don't. I have not seen any confirmation that it actually was on three committee. Are you aware that it actually went through committee? Me personally, so that would be the building, correct? I believe the increase was addressed in the utility meeting that AP was going up to 11 cents. And Mr. Wolf says he did not see any contract in place for AP and he contacted AP and they had no clue that there was a contract in place. And they told him he could go to where he wanted to. But 11 cents was the rate that AP was going up to 11 and a half. So where was the contract for the AP one? We have I don't here. think Mr. Rolls was given all the information at the time. Well, it's funny you say that because there is an email chain that has him in all of it. Well, the contract that I was given was an expired contract because if you know the date that Scott Frank signed it, Q8 of 2021, the pricing expiration time was dated 2 4 of 2021. And the contract was generated on 2 3 of 2021. So when I called AEP <clears throat> to find out, uh, because I had also gotten a call from Therma Energy uh, multiple times about uh, the contract expiring, and they were an energy provider. So at some point prior to Three Point, they were trying to get the business back. <clears throat> they said they wanted. To try to quote and get a, a price in those. And so I said, I can't do anything until I call an AEP and find out what we have in place. So I called AEP, uh, I spoke with the representative. I actually got uh, a recent bill from Judy. It's probably on my desk somewhere. You know, so I could have what we were being charged per kilowatt hour so I could, could compare it to what they said. 
And uh, I said, uh, I understand that we're, our contract expires at the end of June. I said, what do we have in place when this expires? Is it going to default to 11 and a half? They said, yeah, that's the rate that it's going to go to. If you want to find an energy provider, you'll have to go on our website and pick from the list that's available. I said, well, who's currently our energy provider? And they told us, they told me it was a free, free point. So I called, they gave me the number, I called. Um, they uh, quoted me a price. Uh, originally it was uh, much higher than a 599. Uh, so I said, that's, that's not good enough because I already got a better quote from Thermon. I didn't even tell them what it was. And they said, they came back and they gave me uh, that quote of 599. And uh, so that's how that ended up. And I brought it to the attention of Tony and Dan in a, in a committee meeting, you know, that if we don't get into contract before the end of June, we're going to end up you know, defaulting to uh, 11 and a half percent, 11.5 percent kilowatt per hour. And if you do the math based on uh, the kilowatt average that they provided, which, which is over uh, 3 million kilowatts per hour, the city would have ended up, the, the, the utility bill would have went to over $450,000 from, I don't know, I didn't bring the numbers with me, but it was somewhere like around 170,000. Uh, based on the four two five five, and you know the math uh, on five nine nine was was higher than the four two five five by about thirty grand a year over that two year period. And since we were renewing the contract with um, the, the energy provider that we had. Um, I move forward with it. Did you document who you spoke with today? Um, I, I'd have to, I'd have to check my desk and see if there was documentation there. But there's phone records because I called from a city phone. So, so why wasn't this taken through council? Because typically with contracts like this, it's discussed, you know, the numbers are going through the committee, it's taken to full council, especially if we're committing future dollars of the municipality. Scott Franks proposing to go through council. And if you if you if you hear the minutes from that meeting, I was told, you know, you you you, you uh it's through AEP, you deal with AEP, and it's uh it's not the same as a competitive bid that you put out for like one of the other projects that we have going on, you know, in the in, in the city. So, and since I already had a competitive bid that was, you know, higher than uh, nine cents a kilowatt hour. And I was, this was a, a contract renewal with the same energy company that had already provided us a pretty significant discount previously. And looking at the contract that Scott had signed that was after the price expiration date and calling AEP and they had no indication that there was a contract in place. And so they apparently were notified after I had already uh, was not in, in my position anymore. There was no way I could respond to the calls that uh, were coming in while Devin was was uh, acting city manager. Because if he would have responded to him, or somebody would have responded to him between May 15th and June 30th, then it would probably, you know, you could have backed out of the one contract and uh, moved forward with the uh, AEP contract if it was actually still valid. Actually, it was only a seven day rescission period. I looked through the contract. So there wasn't a 45 day rescission, it was a seven day. That's the only chance that we had to back out of that contract. I, I don't know what the rescission date was on the contract because the contract, when I, when I looked at it, it was signed after the price expiration date. 
And when I call it AEP, they have no record of a contract superseding uh, the, the contract that we were in with uh, Freeport Energy. So one of the messages from AEP Energy contradicts what you're saying. Uh, this Jack Sproul, if I'm mispronouncing his name, I apologize. Um, said Taylor, based on your estimated term volumes of your electricity contract, we are calculating the city of Nelsonville is going to incur an increase in electricity spend of $93,940. So if you look at what AEP has as an estimated kilowatts versus what Free, Free Point has an estimated kilowatts, there's about 2 million kilowatts difference. So I would expect that Three Point, who is our current supplier, would have a better average of our usage than AEP, who wasn't our energy distributor, the supplier, but, that we used. But, AEP, but also AEP was at 1.4 cents less per kilowatt, too. But that's so meaningless. It doesn't, doesn't really matter what the average is. It doesn't really ma is. matter when you're looking at an entire contract and AEP doesn't have anything. Uh, when you call them on record, got it right there on black and white. What's on black and white? Here. This this That's is a message. contract. If you would take this to somebody and you see that you signed after the price expiration date, you know, and I and I made the phone call to AEP. AEP seemed to think it was good. And then I would argue with AEP that the contract was, was signed after the price expiration date. All I know is what I see, sir. But you're not looking at. Yeah, but black and white evidence of when the contract was dated. So you'd argue that we should pay more? Because they're offering well, they, 1. 3, 1. 1.3, 1.4 cents. 1.4 cents less per kilowatt hour. If this contract, if they're going to make this contract uh, valid, or if they're going to stand behind this contract, when they told me there wasn't a contract in place, then, you know, that would probably be the better alternative to go with. Who did you speak with at AP? I don't have the phone record in front of me. Did you do an email communication? I said there was a phone record of it to go back and look uh, when I uh, talked with AEP prior to me leaving. This phone record should have something to do with conversation. Well, it's going to be the only phone record I had going to AEP asking them about pricing. So, did you give them the full contract? I don't know. Uh, I have to, again, I don't have access to my email, so I don't know if, if I was given the full contract or just the signature page. Taylor would know that. It's the full contract. Thanks. When was that sent, Taylor? Do you know? It was April 3rd. So where are we at right now? Like I said, in reverse to what? Um, between companies and contracts and all that good stuff. So our Jack Scarrell, the AEP Energy rep, said everything seems good to go to execute the AEP contract. Okay. And he said he'll follow up with you and I, correct? Mm -hmm. And three point, what's their expectation? I haven't spoken with them directly. Taylor was talking to them previously, but they seem to be trying to figure something out on there and still. We haven't heard from them since last week. The last thing was to try and negotiate some sort of offer where they would release early termination fee for something like a contract several years in advance from now. The term would look something like 2026 to 2030. Um, however, they would not agree to it at the same rate. Um, and they would want a much different rate for that contract. And that was not even a promise. I want to say that the rep was like, that's something that I can ask, um, but then we'll have to reach back out to the city. And uh, we got her back. Uh, I made them aware that uh, Devin was in the city, by extension, the city really, and Devin by extension, um, was under a deadline to act by Friday. And they, they understood that. They just said their process is slow. Enough, so.
So should this have come before the full council and, and been passed on from the utility committee to full council? I would think that the council would have to um, authorize the city manager to sign the contract. Uh, we, we've got we're not talking about that. We're yeah. about well, if we're talking about the AP contract, then we are talking about that. My question is specifically on this contract. The witch hunt one. I'm sorry? The witch hunt. It's in black and white. Well, I mean, you don't want to talk about the other AP contract, then why are we even here? Why, why is it that nothing that Scott Frank did I didn't say it's that. I'm aware we didn't it. say that. I, I, that's not what I said. I'm asking specifically about the contract in question. I know, but what what is good for the gander and so forth and so on? So if you, if you want to raise that wrong. question, you can. I'm asking specifically about this one. So if you choose to ask the question about the past, that's your choice. Well, I do because okay. I don't believe that Mr. S Mr. Frank had the approval of the council to do this. And who was the chairman of utility at that time? I have no idea, sir, or was not. Dan, Probably. do you know? Probably. Okay. So was that discussed at that time? Nope. Or? So it never once came before? Nope, never did. Okay. I think the question the right is should it have when the council could clarify the process. Um, so this doesn't happen again. Yeah, because the answer is the same for both. And it's kind of frustrating to sit and listen and talk about personalities and yes. names when the answer is really the same. No offense, everybody. Yeah, they're contracts for future use. I think I think um, I think you're right. I mean, if if there was a mistake made in the future, that's fine. But this is what we have to deal with right now. That's costing us money. And the last contract isn't costing us money. So that's also a distinction there. Um, and that's why we need to handle this right now. And why it needs to be discussed. Um, but there should be already a process involved with bringing it to committee before bringing it to full council and, and council should have to authorize any future monies being spent with the city, uh, you know, authorizing that, 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 for that type of contract. So that is something that's already in place. So, you know, we can debate the past, you know, later, and I'll be more than happy to do an investigation of the whole thing. But right now, this is what we need to tend to right here and figure out why this happened, right? Because in black and white, I agree with Mr. Booth on this, in black and white, it looks like all of this information was given to Mr. Roll before this contract was signed. I appreciate you coming and sharing that though, because I think that's important for you to be able to you know, share your side of it or what happened, you know, while you were here. And I wasn't here, so I couldn't tell you that. But well, you made some pretty strong comments with regard to my integrity, Corey. I mean, you well, put you're it reading out that I was role. You're reading uh, it. negligent, perhaps even feasance, malfeasance, misfeasance, or nonfeasance. And that maybe I was looking at potential kickbacks. There's I mean, there's slanderous defamation of character statements so made here so what's the um, what is the uh cancellation cost so three point estimated it at just over fourteen thousand. it's provided in writing to you guys i don't uh didn't count through that calculation they said it changes with the daily rate so i don't know what it would be today i don't know what electricity rate markets look like um but it should be there in writing in the packets that appear to be fourteen thousand twenty eight dollars and eleven cents May I ask a question why all of this is going through our auditor as opposed to the council? Um, I don't think it's going through the auditor. He holds all the contracts for the city. That's why he was involved there and he'll be involved with writing Reach the check. The contract from Sailor Tappy. Sailor Tappy. Oh, those are those aren't my words. Those are the words from people. Right there, sir. Yes. It's from you. The subject of the email was made by Freepoint Energy. It was very upset. And that's actually, if you look in there, Rita is also in there, our secretary, as well as Devin, as well as Mr. Sherman. So there's a number of people in that email. Um, I will say that last week, 
uh, the city manager was out of town and we tried to coordinate together much to his chagrin because I think you're at the beach, right? Yes. Um, and he spent less, much less time at the beach because he was having to play relay and group phone calls with me and energy companies. But, um, well, I just want to so, go on the record since it was said, who cares? I care because he deserves his time off. He's doing a job well, he's not compensated but, for. But uh, my he's understanding doing a, he's being compensated a, for a police was, chief. Was a, a, AEP had called prior to Devin going on vacation. Right, so and there seemed like there was a sense of urgency to get back to this is Jack. And it wasn't happening. I mean, I got take it says that the former contract was discussed in the utility committee when Greg Smith was the chairman of the utility. Mm -hmm. okay. And I just want to say, if I can say one last thing on this question, um, I brought it to council's attention um, with almost no response from some of you actually, uh, and tried to hand it over to your hands. And now this is your meeting. So the auditor is not running this process. Uh, you guys have to make the appropriation. You have to decide who's going to pay fourteen thousand dollars and go from there. Sorry. Where would that Where would that money come from? Where would fourteen thousand dollars come from? Yeah, I. You guys have to decide. There's no appropriation for fees, fines, fines, penalties. The state declares all fees, fines, and penalties as to serve not a proper public purpose. I'm actually required in law to notify you in writing as I did. Required by law to do so, as I did, uh, and council has to decide in the end. Um, that's you guys. That's what you're elected to do. More than likely, it's going to end up just coming from the general fund. I don't think there's going to be. Uh, we don't have any money set aside for utilities, do we? I mean, it's not considered a utility fee. You're saying it's a fine. Yeah, we've or never. A penalty. We've never incurred one, so I don't even know how they'll bill it. I don't know what it'll look like or. Um, who it'll come from? AP, Freecoin, because AP and AP Energy are separate companies. Right. That's one thing that's kind of been lost a little bit in the conversation. I don't know who it comes from. So, in your opinion, how are the state auditors going to feel about this if we have to pay a $14,000 cancellation fee? I, I don't want to speculate on the state auditors, but I'd be happy to ask. We're currently going through our audit. All right, so, we just need to. I would say you have to come probably from the general fund. So we establish a fund for the fees. So I think we're putting part of the horse. How do we get to the bottom of what happened here? We've got two different stories. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, yes, I did say in an email that it's it's it seems as based on the emails here that we've seen, we've read through, that there's at least negligence. Because he was aware of the other contract, um, but you know that wouldn't be up for me to decide. That would be up to you know if we called the insurance company and looked at his bond, then they would be the ones that would have to determine that. And it doesn't mean that he intentionally did. It just means that it you know we didn't do necessarily due diligence or what we didn't go all the way through. Maybe we were in a hurry doing it. I don't know the answer to that, but I'm just saying that I think that it's it's a problem. And it's shouldn't have. Well, I'm going to go on record as saying there was no negligence. I called AEP, do your Is homework, it? track back all the phone records until you get the one call from my office to AEP. Is then they'll probably have a recorded conversation where right. I ask we about ask. a contract. It's our responsibility. We, we've we've had. had bad things happen in the city before, so it's our responsibility to investigate this. That's I'm fine. sure you understand that. So you don't can. take it personally. Is there that's that's I am taking it personally because that's, of the accusations that you is, and Corey is, and uh, Mr. Clement order have made. Order. Sir, I have made. No. Order. No, no. It's 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 what is the what is the cancellation if we went with free coin with AEP? Is there a cancellation either way? He said there was an early termination fee. He didn't give me an estimate in writing. I don't have that. Uh, but you have the email he did give in writing that said that their rate, I don't know this conversation about expired prices. I know if somebody says you're held to a contract, you're held to it. Um, but it was at uh, 1.4 cents lower at an estimated cost of $93,000 to the city. Um, and then increased electricity for the same electricity we were going to use no matter what. Um, 
plus a fee. That's my understanding. And for the rest of you, you don't have to take my word for it, it's in writing in front of you. Well, what we did provide was the kilowatt average for that estimation, which I said, Freeport Energy at ADP is so an estimate. What are we going to three years through through legislation for this? Yeah. Um, when's our next meeting? Our next meeting Monday, next week. Monday. Monday night. Um, so uh, we'll pass the deadline of getting legislation, but we have not received a bill yet for them. Is that correct? We haven't received a bill. So when we receive a bill, we'll have to. So sh we should. Okay, so that will give us a little bit of time. We can hold some committee meetings, uh, talk about, you know, we can take it to finance and look at which where we want to actually pull funds from. Um, where would we pull them from if it was brought from the general fund? I think I'm going to Jeff. It's more than likely where you're probably going to pull from. I'm just saying, unless there is another alternative. No, I obviously said to me. Any suggestion, Mr. Sutton? I think it'd be a bad look to raise people's water and sewer bills and take it from the water and sewer fund. So I guess from their tax dollars in the general fund. Okay. I think it's a good idea to get in touch with our insurance company and our city attorney also. Yeah. Some guidance on how to proceed and do it the right way. Yes, I agree. And make sure everything's investigated and done correctly. Yeah. It'll be handed over the property. And then, you know, we can look back in the phone records. Although, I mean, it may show a call to AEP. We'd have to contact them on, the, on that day and time and see if they have a recorded conversation of that call. Because we otherwise we would not know what four or five recorded phone calls. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so we can look at the records and see what that is and contact AEP and see if they have a recorded call for, you know, that day and time. Um, we usually recorded for quality assurance, is what they say on the recording that starts. I don't, I don't know how long they keep on the contract and we'll charge them. It's not city's fault. Yep. Perfect. That'd be great. Other than that, I don't know what else you can do. Besides, uh, write the check. Anything else? Can I make a suggestion, please? That in the future, Issues like this and any issues concerning the, the city to come to council and not to the auditor. That's his job, though. But no. Yeah. He took over the letters from people who are wanting to become city manager. That was not his place to do that. Oh, I didn't take over anything. We're not talking about. Oh no! Actually, talk about I didn't that. Oh, that's old stuff. Well, okay, that's right. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. It's, yeah. it's, 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 oh, it's I see. Okay. okay. Well, I'll talk about the money right then. Yes. Mr. Sonic? Yes. Mr. Command? Yes.